G'day, g'day guys. Okay, so we have been using, all week this week, we have been using supplies that we already have or using things that we, you know, doing things that we haven't done for years or whatever. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, Karen, you've gone way too far down the rabbit hole. Why are you cutting out your photos like that? I've done that for a reason. Okay, the two photos, the one with my mother-in-law and the one with Angela opening a present, they both didn't print properly. So the front part of the photo, so what's in the foreground, printed perfectly, but the background printed like a zebra. So I didn't want to throw them out. It is a supply. I've spent my money on it. I have put the ink into it. I want to use it. So I figured why not use a technique we used to use years ago and do this. So that's why I've done it the way I've done it. <laughs> and in the end, it actually works out really well. Now, I'm using the black, this is the American Crafts textured cardstock that I'm using up and I am pulling out some inks. This, now I've said that I'm visiting and using supplies that I already have. One, I always have black and white cardstock, but two, this particular cut file, you may remember that I've already used it before. So I haven't actually bought another cut. I haven't actually bought another cut file. I guess what I'm trying to say is with an electronic cutting machine, when you make a purchase for a cut file and it may cost you a dollar fifty. Little known fact, because you only see us use it once, you can cut that over and over and over again. So for a dollar or a dollar fifty or two dollars, you can keep cutting it. So in this situation, I have actually already used this cut file before. I really like the cut file and I wanted to use it again. So why not? Now I am using, I've just used my Distress Oxides and I've put that through my Star Stencil. I love this stencil. I absolutely love this stencil. I use it to death as you can tell. I actually sat down after I did this video and I cleaned all of my stencil off because I'm really bad at cleaning up properly. I am. Sometimes when I'm in a mixed media world, I just go down the rabbit hole and I don't clean up properly. So I've done it now, so it's all good. But I love the combination of these colors. So I am actually using Wilted Violet, Kitsch Flamingo and Dried Marigold. And I absolutely love how these colors come together. You will see me shortly have a bit of a fight with my with my distress oxide it's i have established after putting lots of more ink into my this one here right here so kitsch flamingo i'm having issues with it it's not i know because i've actually got it dated in the box next to me you can see i've got two boxes there full of reinkers and the I had only re-inked this ink pad. I know I use Kitsch Flamingo. It's probably the one pink that I use the most, but I only re-inked it in August. And look, I've put that on there and I was still struggling with it. And the struggle was real and it was coming out really thick. Once I got to the end of this, I realized it was my brush. I've cleaned these brushes, but for some reason, the pink in the, I don't know if it's the formulation of that particular one, I don't know, but it's just not light and fluffy. See how the orange just went on there like butter and the purple went down like butter, but the pink, no. But it was when I used the finger dobber that I realized, whoa, there is way too much ink in this ink pad. It's really, really juicy now. So I will have to do something with my brushes. I may need to maybe buy a couple more brushes or something. I don't know. But unfortunately, I learned that the hard way. Whoops. So I love these colors together. This color combination, just when you're doing color combination like this, I will draw your attention to the fact that I have used the Wilted Violet, 
the Kitsch Flamingo and the, what was it called? Dried Marigold. Don't put your purple and your orange next to each other. When you ink blend, you will get mud. Mm, you won't get mud, but you probably won't like the color. Purple and orange usually make mud. In, in the world of color theory, you can probably get around it, but put the pink in between the purple and the, and the orange and you'll be happy days. To me, it gives me the sort of sunset vibes, these colors. The reason I'm using these colors is purely and simply because they pop up in the photos. That's how I come up with this color combination. Now, I'm using my Nouveau Crystal Drops. These are the ebony black ones. And you're going to see me totally make a mistake here in a minute. I'm using my little um, shaky tool. This is what I use for my to mix up my um, distress sprays and stuff. You just sit it on top. I did add the eyeballs to it, by the way. Um, you just sit it on top and it spins with centrifugal force and it's fantastic. Anyway, I flipped my tea, unfortunately, but I fixed it, so it's okay. And now I'm sprinkling on top of it um, some clear rock candy glitter which is the Tim Holtz Rock Candy. Now, if you haven't got yourself some of that, you can buy the small container like I've got there, or you can, if, it, if it's still available, I know it's probably only in the US, I haven't seen it out here, but um, the Rock Candy Glitter, you can actually get it in a bigger tub, like a big bottle. It's really cool. I wanted the really cool one, but then realized that I already had some, so that was just being silly buying an extra one <laughs> but I love glitter it's okay the rock candy glitter is sparkly but not fake glitter sparkly does that make sense you'll see in the very end when I show you and do the zoom in you'll see that it's really sparkly but it's not like jazz hands <laughs> does that make sense so I love how this comes together and I did the back, the backing I did in black cardstock because I wanted it to really pop. And the, now these letters, these numbers were not letter, well, the one and the S and the T, they weren't exactly dry when I put them on here, but I was being fussy and I just wanted to just get it done and go and spend some time with my kids. <laughs> So I wanted to just get it on here, so I did, and it's okay, it looks fine. I didn't drop it again, and it was okay. Can you see the sparkle? Um, you'll see the sparkle, you can see it when I'm moving it around there, actually. Now, I love, love, love these colours. They just look so, so cute. Now, I put this down because I didn't want to flick up, I couldn't flip my letters over because my they weren't dry. So they don't take long to dry, but now when I put the pictures on here, that's how we used to scrap back in the day, right? Like way back where we cut the photos out and we just stuck them down. Now, something that I've learned along the way is the difference between making that look like a preschool has done it and making it pop more is giving it a black or a white background. Now, I decided to do both because I'm just extra. <laughs> I just decided that the black and the white would help pop the photos just a little bit more. So I actually then raised up just the photos with foam tape. Now, I love this foam tape. I get this from eBay and it is super duper uber sticky. And I think I do put a little tiny little bit of glitter, a little bit of glue on here purely because I've got the, uh, the Nuvo Crystal, no, the Nuvo Glacier Paste on the background here as well with the stars. So for me personally, I did want to put just a couple of dots. It's not a lot, just a couple of dots of glue on there. And I use the Art Glitter Glue for any of my new people that are new to my channel I want to say hi to you guys 
and um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's on the screen for you right now if you sub like subscribe share my content um, share my channel once we reach 2,000 subscribers I'm going to have a giveaway so I'm hoping I'd like to I'm, I'm crossing my fingers I'm going to say that maybe March, April will will hit it. What do you reckon? Let's everyone comment below. When do you reckon we're going to hit it? Do you reckon February, March, April, or May? Which one do you reckon we're going to hit? I reckon. I reckon the middle of April. That's what I reckon. But you know, hey, I've been wrong before. <laughs> I've been really wrong before. So. This is just about done. I am, I go around the outside edge. I, I'm doing a faux stitch. I wasn't going to do this, but I have a real thing where I like my dominant color or, or my backup color, which in this case is black. I like it to appear intentionally three times. So my metallic, I'm loving the glitter. I'm loving the Nouveau. The Nuvo Glacier Pace is very reflective as well, which is in the background. So I've got the glitter, I've got the shimmer, but I knew that I wanted to bring in some of these um, stars. Now, these hollow stars, these are table sprinkles. So they, I actually picked them up for, I think they were a dollar or 50 cents or something ridiculously cheap. And they're just from your $2 shop and they're the table sprinkles. That's what they are. And the art glitter glue, mate, it sandwiches it to the background and it never comes off. It's fantastic. So, in all honesty, if you're looking for something like that, have a look in your party section. Go to Kmart, check out your party section. Have a look where you get your party supplies in your $2 shop. They've got party sprinkles that you put on your table and then you just buy cheap plastic containers you know your little tiny ones and separate them out and you can go to town with your embellishments it's great now I am going to town writing on this because this is actually a memory that I wanted to document because this was Angela's first Christmas but it was also my mother-in-law's first Christmas post chemo treatment so um and this is going back like 15 years now and or 16 years now and she she's still doing wonderfully she stresses about it every day because that's what she does <laughs> but yeah I wanted to journal that and put that on there and sometimes I keep that sort of thing very private but in this situation I wanted you to see that with the journaling at the bottom it looked balanced so now I'm just going around the outside edge with my silver pigment pen. This is the Kayser Craft one. It's a bullet tip and it's fantastic for just running along the very edge. I'm not sure that this is their intention because I'm pretty sure the cardstock eventually is going to wreck the nib. But hey, that's what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> so here it is, guys, up close and personal. Check out all that glitter in shimmer. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I will be back with you on Monday with another video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.